Because of medications I'm on, I have to be really careful in the sun and only be out for just a little while. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful day here in North Carolina, and I am going to start by, we had rain over the weekend, and there's lots of leaves in the backyard. I'm gonna blow those leaves to the side of the yard, pick them up, and I'm hoping to get a few yard projects and get some work done on the store today. So, busy day ahead. Welcome to our day, guys. what I have on my desk this morning wait is that I guess that's I thought I painted something else I was playing around with this is just an old like piece of swatch paper that I had used and I already had this kind of sunset look on the paper so I painted a couple of twiggy trees a couple of wintry trees and that was fun and on the back of this one, I tried writing with my paintbrush. As you can see, it didn't really work. I was writing Hebrews 4.16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. That verse has been just coming to mind super frequently lately. And in my, I'm doing a, one of the free studies on the Bible app, and that was one of the passages that it was talking about today. So I was like, man, that verse just keeps showing up in my life, and I'm loving it. So that's what I've been up to. I am, when Peter gets back in, he'll print a bunch of packing labels, and then I can go up and pack those orders so we can get those out in the mail. Outfit change. I thought it was going to feel like fall. It feels wonderful, like summer. So I, even though I'm like, oh, it's fall, I want to feel cozy with my black leggings and my flannel shirt, but then I'm like, I'm really hot. So it's got to be shorts and a t-shirt today, and I am not complaining. It's amazing. Yeah. So. Last year when we moved here, it was warm. See, I can barely remember. But it does eventually get crisp and cold in North Carolina, at least where we live. So it will feel like fall, but apparently not at the end of October. Maybe in November it'll feel like fall. And I love it. The more mild the weather, it's easier for my body in general. Like when I go outside and it's not like scalding me hot and it's not like freezing my lungs like ugh, stop working it's just kind of in the middle and it's really really great and it's also really fun that peter gets to do like power washing the fence in end of october 
and he's wearing shorts and t-shirt and it's no big deal. It's crazy because I got a text from a friend in Massachusetts where we used to live and she was like, we're expecting snow this week. Oh, that's such a different world now. Such a different world. We are back from the post office and it's dinner time. We had another pork tenderloin that we're doing, pork medallions, and we're gonna do some pasta. And a friend sent us this pasta sauce, or it's called Spicy Hot Tomato Oil Pasta Sauce. It's so good. So we're gonna have that on the pasta on the side, like not the pork separate from the pasta. And we've got some green beans, we'll heat up, and that's what we're having for dinner. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Thank you. He was looking at the, the steam. Harry, that's not for you. I has a bite. That was teamwork dinner. I got part of it ready earlier in the day and then I was resting while Peter was fixing the rest of the dinner. I wanna show you guys something. Remember this tomato plant that produced one tomato? Wait for it. And, 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 <laughs> do you see him? Ah! I'm so excited. Harry likes to come out and explore a little bit. I think he goes on the table because he knows that we eat off of this and he loves food. Harry, should we go back in the house? The other day he was sitting right here in the sun and I, I had to go look out front for something so I put on his harness and I tied it to the umbrella he literally didn't move he was literally just like sunbathing and he can only stay in the sun for like a little while because he will get a sunburn and I don't have any cat sunscreen it exists but I would rather just it's kind of like because of medications I'm on I have to be really careful in the sun and only be out for just a little while so he and I are just the same we just don't stay in the sun very long soak it up and then go inside so um, I remember I was at camp when I was like 15 I think and I must have been on I think I might have been on IVs I think I was I think I was on IVs and so or maybe I was on oral antibiotics. I was on something and I just, I couldn't be in the sun. And I ended up going on the canoe trip. So I probably was not on IVs. But anyway, I was on this canoe trip and I'm just like slathered in sunscreen. I had the orange bottle with a blue like spray thing, not the aerosol, but like a squirt, 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 rub it in. I remember just like, I had a hat on and I was like, had a life jacket on I was just covered in sunscreen and I ended up feeling so weak and so out of it that I ended up having to lay in the bottom of somebody's canoe because they were like canoeing back because I just got really weak so strange oh so weird I partially can remember that really well that feeling of being like super weak and the sun is beating on me. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. So now I just know I just can't stay in the sun very long. That's why we never took the boat out before like 5 p.m. The sun just takes it out of me. That's okay. I enjoy the evening sun. I enjoy little snippets of the daytime sun. As you go, boy. Go find it. <laughs> 
Where'd it go? Where's your doggy Duna? <laughs> yeah! Well, just like that, the summer, the summer weather <laughs> that made me change out of this, it's now freezing cold. I also think that my body officially adjusted to southern weather, so freezing cold is how, what's the temperature? I don't know, like 60 degrees? Yeah. I'm know. not kidding. Like, I didn't think it would happen that fast that my body would adjust to it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Where's the weather? It's 63. <laughs> it was probably warmer when you were outside. <laughs> yeah, I was outside. Um, I had cousins who lived in Florida, and they would come visit. In We lived in Maryland. And I remember thinking, they think this is cold because their bodies are used to like 80 or 90 degrees. No, I'm that person. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that other half of our day. And we're gonna say, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. That was pretty cute, Ollie playing hide and seek, wasn't it? Do you love hide and seek, buddy? Say good night to the people. Good night guys, we'll see you tomorrow.